Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Natural Health. So today I wanted to go over the process of getting rid of the H. pylori in my body and what it did for me and my autoimmune conditions, as well as what I'm really trying to target, which is my chronic idiopathic urticaria. So I've been on this journey now for two years, trying a thousand different things, anything that is related to hives. And I'm not talking surface level, what the doctors will tell you, because the doctors will tell you literally nothing of substance or use, not gonna lie. In fact, some of them, in most cases, they are actually probably hurting you from what I've just recently found out. So let's go ahead and get started. So I did an H. pylori natural treatment removal for the last two weeks or so. I finished a couple of days ago. Um, now, while I was on it, I didn't notice any side effects and I was taking three different things. I was taking Pepto-Bismol because you need bismuth. You also need, um, I was taking ADP, which is emulsified oil of oregano, which is known as an antiviral, antifungal, and it's got so many beneficial properties for you. And then I was also taking, oh my God, what was the last one? Oh, mastic gum, yeah, and which is also another natural supplement coming from a tree, which is supposed to help and aid in getting rid of the H. pylori. So H. pylori, as I mentioned in some of my other videos, is basically just a bacterial overgrowth of a specific type of bacteria that can lead to intestinal permeability, stomach ulcers, and in a lot of cases, or in some cases, sorry, stomach cancer. So it's definitely something that everybody's body has. Now you want to maintain a healthy level of it in order to for your body to work correctly. So you don't want too much, you don't want too little. It's always so hard to find this perfect equilibrium. Now, one of the other things that I noticed, you know, I, I have been experiencing hair loss and I've been walking you guys through my hair loss journey and what I'm doing to combat that. And figuring out the real problem with my hair loss has led me down a whole nother path, but they are totally intertwined. Now, with my, I'm gonna try and stay focused on the H. pylori treatment. So. While I was taking it, I experienced no side effects. I actually feel like I felt pretty good. Like there was no changes whatsoever. It didn't make my hives worse. Unfortunately, it did not eradicate my hives. That being said, I do not know if all of the H. pylori or the H. pylori bacterial overgrowth so much has been officially eradicated from my body. Now, my doctor asked me to do a test for H. pylori, which you can get done through insurance. You can ask your normal doctors. They'll probably say no because they don't want to help you. Sorry, I don't think they're out there to hurt you. I think they're out there to write you a prescription to make money. And I think that is what a doctor is. They're indoctrinated to know what they've been taught and what they have been taught has been given to them by people <laughs> like Pfizer and all these other big pharma companies that profit off of them only knowing to use their medications. So, okay, let's get back to it. Um, I hate Western medicine officially, 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 officially. And just wait until my next video until you guys find out this new surprising fun fact. Um, okay, so back to it. So unfortunately it did not eradicate my hives. I, my doctor did order me a test, but I had started the natural treatment program before she ordered the test. Um, and so I wasn't able to do the test because you can't take bismuth or Pepto-Bismol for at least two weeks prior to the test. So thankfully I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do the natural treatment plan and then I'm going to wait two weeks and then go back and test because typically my doctors only like to order one test, which is pre-eradication, not post-eradication. So I was like, I'm going to use it to my benefit since I already started the treatment program rather than stopping it, waiting two weeks, then taking the test, then starting the treatment program. I was like, let's go through the treatment program. Then I'll wait two weeks and then go get tested to see how my levels of the H. pylori are. Now, if it's eradicated, that means that it could be something that is leading to my hives, but it is also something that could also not be related to my hives. Now, there are a lot of correlations between H. pylori and chronic hives, um, but there's a lot of correlations between H. Py uh, chronic hives and candida, hives and mold toxicity, hives and bacterial overgrowth, hives in so many different things um, that I'm really working through each one step by step. And I'm excited to talk to you guys about my next step that I've taken, and I actually discovered it while researching about the H. pylori and they're highly intertwined and it will be a big shocker to you not 
so much really. Um, but it's probably a medication that you're taking for your hives that could be causing it. So that is my next step, guys. So I have something. So I just wanted to pop on here, let you guys know that no, doing the H. pylori treatment alone did not eradicate my hives. Now, there are stipulations to that because I will talk about it in my next video and what I found out about H. pylori and the connection between low hydrochloric acid, which is something our body needs in order to break down nutrients, um, which is also associated with chronic hives <laughs> and the two are intertwined so guys definitely stay tuned make sure to like comment below subscribe do everything you can I really am trying to get these videos out in front of as many people that are suffering with chronic hives because I am literally every couple of weeks kind of starting a new treatment program seeing how that goes and reporting back to you guys as well as dealing with the side effects of whatever is going on in my body because it's not just hives that I have I have extreme hair loss, I have some gastro issues, so I do feel like they are highly intertwined, and so figuring out the root of this is going to be amazing, literally for everyone, for years and years and years to come, because doctors keep saying it is unknown, and it is not. There has to be a solution, and I'm going to help you guys figure it out, and we're going to do it naturally, so click that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching Mary J's Natural Health.